Cheese, Rodney Morris versus Delbert Wong at the fifth annual Cole Dixon Memorial Tournament. I believe this is still a winner side match. Delbert is the room owner here at the Family Billiards, the host of the tournament.
Okay, this just in. I think Rylan Hartnett defeated Gus Brzezano, which comes. No, oh, hold on. Rylan beat who? Gus Brzezano. Yeah, he was playing Gus. Rylan was playing over here earlier, but okay. So this, guys, this is this is a treat because this is Delbert Wong. The owner of Family Billiards here, who is hosting this tournament, and uh, still found himself on the winner's side on the second day. He's playing Rodney Morris right now. Uh, scores two to zero. Rodney leads. Delbert Wong is, uh, you know, I, I want you guys to know that uh, this room is one of the oldest rooms in California. Family Billiards, Delbert Wong, I think started this room almost, uh, started Family Billiards almost 35 years ago. Like that, so. Well, if he's given up a match, I don't know how And, uh, you know, just to show you guys, just to, to, you know, prove to you guys that these players mean business, you know, Rodney Morris doesn't care who he's playing. When it's time to play a match, the gloves come off. He's not going to be nice to the owner of Family Billiards. Uh, maybe he was. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney's on the stall. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, sorry uh, about that. We, you've been misinformed. Gus actually beat Rylan Hartnett 7-3. So that is probably the last update we're going to receive from Tanner Rue today. <laughs> Not a good informant. <laughs> Because if I have to fact check the fact checker, then uh, we're in trouble. Yeah, she hasn't had a drink either. So, all right. So Delbert's got uh, straight seven ball. Goes in. Nice touch on the eight. Good cue. And Rodney concedes the game. Gives it to Delbert. 
And, uh, boy, I tell you, he's also playing with a beautiful cue. I think, uh, I think he's playing with an old tad. That's what it looks like. I don't know if you guys can see in the back, along the wall, Delbert yeah. has his squad. <laughs> yeah, the, the Wong squad yeah. over there. <laughs> he's got... Uh, Kenny Koo. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know the, the guy's name next to Kenny. Yeah, I forgot too. But uh, I feel so bad because I don't know the guy's name. Uh, but the guy next to Kenny Koo, the middle guy, has been carrying Delbert's cue to each table for him. Oh, that's sweet. Well, you know, for those who don't know, Delbert's been, he's been battling some, you know, just issues with his ankle and his knee. and Back. Yeah. And despite all that, he's still on the winner's side. Still on the winner's side. And not only that, you know, it takes a lot to put these tournaments together. And, uh, you know, thankfully, Delbert's got a great crew uh, of people that uh, are working here. A couple of new faces. Uh, Mike has been working here now just about a year. He was the first guy to see when I came in on Friday with Geraldine and uh, Tom still works uh, at the pool hall here. Nice shot. Um, Jimmy Wang and Renee Mata, they're, they're, they're busting their asses here. Uh, and Kingman, Kingman's been cleaning the tables every morning and, you know, doing God knows what for uh, Delbert, who, you know, Kingman's basically been Delbert's right-hand man, I think, for the last... Uh, for the past several months. Delbert was a very close friend to Cole Dixon, uh, who passed five years ago. And, um, you know, whenever I talk to Delbert, he says, you know, I do this tournament for Cole. And uh, although he was not going to play, he was not going to play this particular year because of, you know, his knee and his stuff going on he wasn't going to play but uh tournament director masai just uh went ahead and backed him backed him signed <laughs> him on and uh you know how pool players are once you once you if you get back to play you don't you don't you don't turn down the offer you know you say, okay i'll play <laughs> do you think delbert's gonna see any of those winnings you know I got. I tell you what, Delbert's got so much heart. I could see him. I could see him. Just telling him aside. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Take all of it. Yeah. I mean, you know, he's already, he's already like priced in like twelve, fourteen grand just to make this tournament happen. You know, new cloth on every table. He had. The pockets tightened and the and, 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 and a lot of the rubbers replaced. Not to mention the twenty five hundred the twenty five hundred added. Closing down the pool hall pretty much for the last two days. Yes, the pool hall's closed, so he's not making any table time. Anyway, we, we, we truly appreciate everything that Delbert does for uh, pool. And I'm sure so does Rodney, but that doesn't stop him from wanting to win this match. Rodney wants to take his, you know, by the way, we haven't had a second, uh, a two-time winner of this event yet. We've had five winners. Who's the first year winner? Amar Kang, year one. And uh, year two was, uh, it was either Oscar or Vilmos. I think it was Vilmos. And then year three was Rodney. And last year was Dennis. Beautiful shot, Delbert. Rail first and down the rail even further. 
Delbert is a force to be reckoned with in this tournament. He's not going to leave it easy for Rodney. He corner hooked him. Delbert says, take that. <laughs> Is this going to be available to the side? Uh, no. But I think the banks are open, even though it's Sunday. Bank of Delbert. Ah, yeah. Bank got robbed. Yeah, the bank. The bank got robbed. <laughs> it's a good shot. I also want to thank Yoli Andoko for uh, providing the accommodations for POV Pool to to uh, be in San Francisco this weekend at the Gaylord Apartments. Providing us with a beautiful 10th floor view of the city of San Francisco. Yoli Andoko's third, third time hosting us at the Gaylord Apartments. Ah, Kojak in the subway. <laughs> Rodney always, ever, <laughs> always putting on a show, no matter what and where. We've uh, we've streamed Rom Rodney and. Many, many matches with different players. And uh, it's always been a treat to, uh, to be able to, uh, you know, preserve some of the history of his uh, development of the sport. Delbert's hitting them solid. I mean, he's on the right side of the ball here. Just come out for the four, which is on the rail. Ooh. Only if they're soggy. <laughs> okay, so back to this. Delbert's um, sort of recovered from that four ball shot. He got shape on the five, shot it in. And we are s sitting pretty here. And it's three to two.
Telbert's such a champion. I tell you what, and you know, I'm going to remind the viewing audience, these pockets are extremely tight. Uh, tighter than normal, tighter than most tournament tables. Less than four inches tight. And uh, it's just amazing to see the caliber of play here, considering uh, the, uh, the width of these pockets. And so, family billiards separating the men from the boys here. The girls from the women. And the girls women from the women. from the girls. Also. Something like that. <laughs> you know, all thanks to, uh, to uh, the instruction. Uh, well, actually, this was at uh, Delbert's instruction, but thanks to the uh, fine work of Ernesto Dominguez. These tables, actually, I played yesterday. I played one pocket on this table yesterday, and I had not one complaint about this table, not one, uh, one bad roll, not one bad kick off a rail. The balls are playing well. The balls are racking tight. And... And just uh, perfect playing conditions, uh, with the exception that uh, you do have to hit the center of the pocket, or you're uh, you're going to be giving it up to the next player. So yeah, this table, this table's playing, in my opinion, immaculate. Now, I'm no pro, so, uh, you know, maybe I should be asking these boys how they like the table. Beautiful inside follow. Delbert's not playing around here. Somebody mentioned to me, just before I got to this match, uh, somebody mentioned to me that, you know, Delbert's just going to pretty much concede this match to Rodney. He's not going to give him much of a game. But uh, to the contrary, <laughs> Delbert wants to make his investment back. <laughs> You notice the last uh, nine ball Rodney was on, <laughs> and Delbert didn't concede it. <laughs> yeah, so that's a that's an indication right there. He is on it. Okay. I want to announce to the world that uh, the 64 player one pocket event happening at the West Coast Challenge in less than five days, July 7th through 9. In less than six days only has five spots left so uh, be sure to call Chris Fort at California Billiards there are only five spots left for the one pocket and before I do the drawing for the uh, the JB case and the Tiger cues today I'm going to announce to this room in case anybody has forgotten to sign up for the one pocket so if you want to get in, you better call California Billiards and get in. Or get out. Or get out. Get out. Like the Amityville Horror. <laughs> now look at this, folks. Delbert misses. 
and puts Rodney in quite a predicament here. Looks like he might be massaying. Or, oh no, he came underneath. Huh. A little straight on the seven. Uh, he has angle. Um, to get to the eight? I think really no spin, just draw. Just draw this back. Mm -hmm. Smooth stroke. It should be okay as long as he makes the seven. He frammed it. This is no picnic for Rodney. This is a shot you got to be careful because the second rail contains a scratch, so... What is he doing? My gosh, he plays a horrible safety here. I don't know how horrible it is with these pockets. Delbert's no, you know, I mean, Delbert's a bit of a gunslinger, so... The look, he's going to miss, but he's still going to end up safe. Why you look? I'm sorry, brother. My champion. My girl. No, your girl. <laughs> yeah. My friend. She's your friend. I trust her, not you. No, you can trust me. Okay, that's good. No problem. Francisco. You can leave to me two days, nothing happens. I can leave her for two days for you? Nothing will happen? Okay. Nothing happens. Okay. But make sure if you leave to me, make sure you're going to give me 200 for food, you know? Okay. Okay. No money to you got your, you have your own bills, right? <laughs> yeah. Maybe she might eat a hundred dollars a day. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. She has a champagne taste, you know, so. <laughs> That's amazing. They play three times already. Three, three times both. Six times. You need a massage, then. Your family here is heavy. <laughs> Boosty, Boosty's here. He's taking it in stride. He got knocked out of the, uh, what, 13 through 16 or 9 through 12? 9 through 12. 9 through 12. So. I lose with your best friend. Throwing the ball. Fucking <laughs> champion. No fucking clash. Jason Williams. Uh, Dennis Ocolio. My best friend. No, Jason. I like Jason Williams, man. He's the... Yeah. Oh, Mika. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm just going to be quiet and let Boosty talk. <laughs> you want to play him? Challenge match? Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Serious. And money game too. Yeah. Boost, yeah. Boosty wants to do a challenge match with Mika. I like that. I like that. No, that's what we're talking about. That's what about. we're talking about, buddy. Maybe we go down tomorrow and get those cameras set up early. <laughs> wow. Wants to play a one, one pocket? pocket? Yeah, of course, one pocket. I don't... Oh, he plays a little one pocket, doesn't he? We got action. Mika, Boosty's woofing at Mika right now, live on the air. Put a mic on Boosty. Why do, I don't even need to. You can hear him. Wow, heel, heel. Look at that. Santo Samahon and Steve Lingelbach are hill, hill. Good luck to both players. And, uh, yeah, news flash. This just in. Boosty wants to play. Mika, head up one pocket. One pocket. One pocketo.
I want to thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you want to share and subscribe to uh, POV Pool on YouTube, just uh, be sure to click the subscribe button and go ahead and give us a like. Give us a thumbs up. Hey, and if hey. you don't like, give us a thumbs down. Because we don't care. We're just going to do what we do. We just, we just do what we do. Leave us a comment. and uh, uh, But most of all, keep loving pool. And uh, no matter who you like, what you like, just, uh, you know, just remember this is the greatest, the greatest game in the world. So score is five to two. Delbert is down by three games. He's a monster break. He's got a good break. He's got a good game. Like I would think that because of the leg issues, that it might, you know, hinder some of the break on him, for him. No? Yeah, I think it's, you know, dealing with physical pain when you're playing a match. No, but I mean, event. not being able to, like, I don't know. Shows how much I know about pool. Mm. Just talking We're, about like leveraging off of your like. No, you, you actually make a valid, very valid point. You know, and not only physical pain can actually just just distract you mentally. It can stop you. Uh, it, it can and it can hinder your ability to concentrate. But I was I wasn't talking necessarily about the pain, but that like with with one leg being hurt like being able to leverage off that leg to break yeah one leg being hurt no yes it can affect your balance full you know total balance i mean pool is about correct stance correct balance and i agree with you wholeheartedly Chris Reyes. Oh, yeah. We'll put three tickets in for him. Shout out to you, sir, in Las Vegas. One of our uh, one of our most beloved supporters of POV Pool. Just an overall cool guy. Yeah, overall. When you're overall cool, <laughs> that's pretty cool. As opposed to underall. <laughs> as, I don't know. You just know how to ruin my speeches, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one who said overall. <laughs> I left it over there. Here, I'll be right back.
Okay. Ronnie lays down a beautiful safety. Pretty pretty simple shot, really. Keeping it simple. He also managed to break the uh, the seven away from the nine, or the you know, nine away from the seven. Uh, and this just in it looks like Steve Lungelbach's about to close out against Santos Samba home. He's shooting a straight shot on the eight. Uh, and from there, fairly simple nine. Yep, Steve Lingelbach poised to run out. He's got a shot on the nine, slightly off angle, missable shot. He's a little close to his work, but uh, I'm gonna say Steve's 95% to make this. It goes, and that brings that match to a close. Santo Samahon defeated from the one loss side. Ninth through 12th, Santos will take, and uh, Steve Lingelbach will remain to play. who is on the hill now. He's not on the hill yet. It's 6-2. Oh. <laughs> Rodney is about to win this match. Well, you know, um, I think it, you know, Rodney was a favorite to win this match. Uh, but. Depends I, on who you ask. That's true. Because I favorite Delbert Wong. Okay. <laughs> well, you know what? It's, this is a winner's side match. Isn't it? Isn't this from the winner's side? Yeah. yeah. This, don't tell me this was the hot seat match. This was not the hot seat match. Thank you, Tanner. Tanner's going to go get me some inaccurate information. <laughs> <laughs> Love Tanner Roo. She said Tanner Roo, the kangaroo. She said hot seat match? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was the hot seat match. No, that wasn't the hot seat match, folks. But uh, we're very happy to announce that we've just broken. Oh, we almost broke 500 viewers, huh? That, that was the hot seat match? That was for the hot seat. That was for the hot seat match. That <laughs> Rodney with Mika. No. No. Rodney will play the hot seat match now. Not right now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's Rodney versus Mika next. It's going to be Rodney and Mika for the hot seat match. <laughs> the, I, I can understand. Hey, uh, this is a hot seat match, right? You and Rodney? No, no, no. I know. I'm just. Okay. All right. The, Thanks. My spotter is giving me uh, no, no, no. To strange ta to information. To Tanner's defense. In is, her defense, yeah. Is the bracket was on two pieces of paper. No, it's true. We, I, I want you guys to know we've been, we've been providing very little bracket information for this event because uh, for some reason this year in particular, the bracket was written on two large pieces of paper, very large pieces. We didn't want to confuse anybody by taking pictures of both brackets and the and tournament you guys going, table was actually not where it usually is the tournament table is typically near us well, i've already got it cleared up with mika it's 
The hot seat match will be between Mika and Rodney Morris, but not yet. So, no, the, the brackets on two pieces of paper. Yeah. No, no, they're two pieces of, yeah. See, I, now I'm explaining to Tanner. So anyway, we're done with this match. We're done with this match. Goodbye. Stay tuned. And